welcome back, everybody. Welcome back to the Canyon. Welcome back to another Quick View installment. But not just a Quick View, it's got to be a Redux. It has to be a Redux because we have. Uh, it was on the list. Tires that have not been tested on the new protocol. It is the J Concept Scorpio in green compound, the 1.9 and uh, uh, the 3057. I call this tire the Journeyman. I could not tell you with any degree of accuracy how many different rigs we have tried the Scorpio on. It do, it doesn't sing the song. It does it does it has not. It maybe it can, but it hasn't yet. It has not sung the song. We have tried different inserts. We've tried different everything's. We just tested the 2.2 LP version recently, and while it was a fair to middling rock crawling tire the 22 lp scorpio for those who haven't seen that review might be the perfect h10 optic tire it may be perfect it looks amazing the performance is super well rounded on that vehicle when it comes to a tire no matter what that tire is with only the very few exceptions of tires that are born bad this is a J-Concept Siren Green. We have found a home. We have found an application that is suitable for every other green compound tire. Some of them, it doesn't matter. The J-Concept's Tusk, regardless of the size, if you have a vehicle that will fit it, you can run it. They're going to do really well. Kind of the same for the Megalithic. Uh, the Hunk and the Hold are pretty ve vehicularly specific none as vehicularly specific as the 1.9 Scorpio. I want them to work on something. Uh, so far, they have not. And I mean, you can see. We're as feathered in, basically, as we're going to get. And they've been run, run both ways. So, is that the vent hole clogged? So, they've been, they've been run in both directions to the point where they're pretty worn. We're starting to see this is the, where J-Concepts go first right along that bead ring but they look pretty good one of the first sets of j concepts tires we ever bought because during that time in history the tusk was perpetually out of stock they are not belted nor ribbed they're webbed and the webbing continues the entire inner part of it i i guess for strengthening it is a carcass of typical thickness around two millimeters thick they are set up in the usual fashion, where the front tires are running Canyon Custom Softs, two wraps of fridge foam around a Tim Tin inner. This particular set of softs have, have been around. These have been in service for a long, hot minute. And the beauty is, with the Canyon Custom, A, easy to make, B, cheap, uh, C, when that outer gives out too much, which is a situation that at this point is theoretical because we've never seen it happen. I've, I've yet to rebuild a Canyon Custom Soft. Uh, it's easy to do. You peel the layer off, you stick new fridge foam on. It's the original 3D printing. They, they work on a great variety of tires. Uh, and, and when I say great variety, I mean from width is your only concern and you can grind the inners down. Uh, we are we are non-directional. We have these kind of like old right on the school desk S's S, and you flip it around. Oh, oh they reappeared again. So the beauty is you don't have to worry about it. Uh, also, I can't. That that's why this is a Redux. I can't tell you how difficult these are to mount or not because they've been mounted so many times. Well, I can touch th that tire's mounted. <laughs> uh, these have been so beadlock trained, we, we definitely don't need to go in a cross tightening pattern. There was a halfway completed thought that the rears are on Canyon Custom Mediums, which look like this, a medium hair bun around the same type of inner. We run Canyon Customs here more than any other insert. We run the insert that works. We don't get... Uh, emotionally attached to any insert. If it works on an Injura silicone, great. If it works on a 3D printed insert, great. Uh, I think at the end of the day, nope, rescinded. I think at the beginning of the day, we want the cheapest insert to work. We don't want to have to run 
Crawler Innovations little Novas or squid inserts in everything because while they may work fantastically, once you buy the tires and then buy the $60 of inserts to put in them and then wheels to mount them on, they're now about a fifth, 20% of the cost of the vehicle. That's problematic. 118. It's a class two. By 48. Um, I'm imagining that on the leaderboard, that leaderboard says 118 by 48 a lot. Or let's say 117 to 119, 47 to 49. That's pretty much class two. That's where class two lands and lives. Loves, laughs. It does all of the things that are on the doormat. We're going to slap them on. And what we're going to do is we're going to hope against hope. Our expectations are... Uh, I can't say that there's no expectation. I have tried the Scorpios. If I said 20 rigs, that might be an underestimate. They were serving duty as... I, I, I had full... You know, nobody asked. But if you were wondering, I mounted and unmounted 14 tires before initiating this test. Two of these were being as run on the rear of Colonel Mustard, a skid forward rig running on AR-45 portals. And the other pair were the front tires on Jolly Green, who is a TRX-6. Because they were basically placed into applications where the tire isn't critical. We could, we could run pretty much anything there. And uh, we split them up. So I had to mount and unmount 14 tires. I had to remount a full set for a six by. I had to mount an all new set for the Colonel. And then I had to mount this set up right here. Six, four, and four is 14 tires unmounted and remounted. And at the same time, I want them to be better than I know them to be. I already have a number. That's the, that's the cutting, the real deep cutting of the quick view redux. I kind of know what they're going to do. And I don't think that the universe is going to, is going to trickle down some celestial alchemy on them and make them all of a sudden amazing. Otherwise there would be one or more rigs in here running J concept Scorpios. It has been the di most disappointing green tire and I just keep thinking there's something out there that will run these Scorpios and I haven't met it yet but we keep building rigs maybe that's why we keep building rigs we keep building rigs because we keep trying to find a tire that'll work <laughs> an, an application for every there, there has to be an application for every tire even if you have tires that are truly terrible there's an application for that because you can do stupid things with them and we'll all laugh and sigh collectively. J Concept Scorpio, green compound, class two, 1.9. To ask them to show me something I haven't seen seems ridiculous, but we're gonna do it anyway. So this is really a strange one. This is just a quick view of the Scorpio but they've been here for a couple years. <laughs> like they're mounted on the correct rig, on the correct rims, on the correct inserts. This is all the quick view stuff, but we know too much. And there it is. There, there it is. They're just, they're just uh, in the, pantheon of J-Concepts tires. The 1.9, the Class 2 Scorpio has traditionally been just off the podium. They're green, so they're not terrible. They're never going to be terrible. What they are going to be is infinitely frustrating. You're going to get into that spot. You're going to get into that line you know and you're gonna line up for it and you're gonna go, why are you not pulling over? We got, we got the pullover. Straight across the beam, right? Hey, all right, all right. They're gonna get a, they're gonna get a direct score is, is what the thing is. 
I have, I have, I now, I have a new expectation. I had my indoor expectation and now I have my outdoor expectation. They're really liking the medium. They're really liking the medium rear insert. I think, I think medium soft is the way to go because I, I think we would, the, the front, the, the compliance in the front would dip a little. This, is this the optimized setup? I pulled a soft, they were running softs in the front on Jolly Green, so exactly what's in there now, and they were running softs in the rear on Colonel Mustard. So we've firmed the rear, and I'm not seeing any drawback. Okay, come across, come around. Okay, we gotta drop this, we gotta drop this back down. I think we, I think we like 32. 32, 32 is decent. We do the cruise climb, where we're just, we're just letting it go. Okay, we got a little hang spot there. Come around. Come on. What are we stuck on? It's like, it's okay. That's, oh, uh, dang it. Just, just off the podium. And it's, it's particularly sharp on the double edge because they're one of my favorite looking J Concepts tires. I don't know if it's that there's too small of a lug. Uh, the, the ratio of lug to empty space isn't right. Side lug not pronounced enough. It could be any number of things, but like we get that rear in that spot right there. This is the driver rear being called upon to do all the work. And you'll see a little hop and a drop and a hop and a drop. Like we can get, do you see what I'm talking about? If you have, it, it uh, hmm, okay. The Scorpio is not a tire. If you take, if you do a random pull and you pick five tires to do a five-way shootout, there's no guarantee that on that day the Scorpio is gonna score fifth. It's not gonna be the worst. But if you were to take 20 tires, there's a real good chance that the J Concepts will be fifth, sixth. There's just gonna be those other tires that are just a little bit better at it. A well, solid, a well, solid. Yeah. Now, again, I would say even with 3D inserts on the table, silicones, what have you, I would say that these are still as optimized as we can get them. The inserts to the tire, the insert and the tire to the vehicle that's being used for testing, they're feathered in all the way from just being run so much. They just never, that is the je ne sais quoi. I, re I really want these to pick themselves back up on the, on the side hill. I guess to me, they strike me as Something that's like an LT radial, real tight pack on the lug. But, you know, as with all the other J Concept tires, they're not like a, a, a scale license. Some good slide there. And yeah, we're just gonna, are we gonna transfer? No. That's, that's, the, that's the Canyon Medium holding that down. This set of inserts now take into consideration. This set of inserts in these tires together are not a, we are not a phenomenally expensive collaboration. But just again, pretty much all the J Concepts class twos fall into the same price. They're, they're within a dollar or two, no matter what the pair they are. Hunks hold Scorpios, Tusks, Megalithics, the one that I'm forgetting. The Scorpio is always like down there 
towards the bottom. It's definitely in the class with the hunk and the hold in that it's rig specific, it's setup specific. We had to find rigs to get the hunk and the hold to really sing together. And uh, the same with the Scorpio, but more. Uh, the Tusk is out there standing on its own. See, we'll get that rise, oh, and then we drop right back. Yeah. Inserts are carrying a lot of weight right here. Um, these are doing, I, they're doing as anticipated. I wish I could say that they were doing better or that they were doing worse. I, I want the Scorpio desperately to be better than they are. But it took us a couple of years to find a place that, that they would fit. And that is only speaking of the, the other size. The LP is basically about the same level of performance of this uh, until you find the rig that they like. Baseline is apparently not the rig that they like and neither are 20 others. Doesn't mean we're gonna stop looking. It just means that typically, if I'm buying a set of green to outfit a vehicle, uh, I'm, I'm buying a different one. I'm gonna buy Tusks or I'm gonna buy Megalithics. Nobody makes the best everything. If they all performed exactly the same, there would be no point in having the variety beyond cosmetics. And I mean, I would love a, a world slash universe where the Scorpio is as good as the Tusk, but it's not cosmetics. There is performance to be had by the shape and orientation of the lugs. Get it? Yeah, those, the, those mediums are, are really heavy lifting here. Got that little traction hop, not atypical. Can we push over? Can we push over? If you've watched, uh, if you've viewed other tests, you will know this spot right here, the ability to, to conquer the L right there. There's, there's not a huge, like there are obviously the tires that can't make it at all. There are the tires that walk right over it. So you've got the one end of the spectrum and you've got the extreme other end of the spectrum. In the big bell curve that exists in the middle, a lot of tires fall into a basically the capability that the Scorpio just showed right there. So it's the distribution of that available traction that we're, that we're looking for. And I see these little tiny dropbacks with the Scorpio. And it has to be the lug because it's green. They're all green. It's all J concept. It's all green. So those little dropbacks to the shape of the lug. And as much as I like the look of them, if we were talking about half a point, if we were talking about the difference between a 95 and a 95.5, why wouldn't we take the 95.5? It's that I make a, uh, it's, it's not nihilist. Maybe it's a little fatalist. But I make a baseball analogy all the time, and it goes something like this. We're gonna, we're gonna see if we can adapt it to fit toy car tires. Scorpio, what's called, what's called child A Scorpio. Scorpio decides that he's gonna become a baseball player. He's gonna be the very best. So he practices, and he trains, and he practices, and the next thing you know, he's the best player on his team. And then, another kid shows up who is standing outside the fence at the little league field, just watching people play baseball. And he goes, that looks like fun. And we'll call that kid Tusk for the day. Tusk shows up. Tusk has never swung a bat. He's never put a glove on his hand. He's never thrown a baseball. And they invite Tusk out onto the field to see uh, how he likes the game. Tusk steps up and he can hit the ball harder. He can throw the ball faster. He can throw the ball more accurately. He can make plays that Scorpio can't make, no matter how hard Scorpio tries. Tusk is just better at it. Scorpio cannot change his DNA. He cannot alter that which he is to make him better. If we were to uh, confuse this allergy further, we would say that there are, uh, there's another player 
we'd call him Canyon Trail, and he can adapt himself. He'll never be the best, but he can take away a little of himself and he can reshape himself and he can be better. I don't think the Scorpio falls into that category. He cannot reshape himself to be better. There is his DNA. The entire, the entirety, I'm making a, uh, a imagination with the arms like SpongeBob. The whole, the whole, the, the whole, oof, everything. The all-inclusive totality of tires. In that all-inclusive totality of tires, some are better than others and they cannot change their DNA. Everything Swamper is limited by the very nature of being a Swamper-like tire. There's a weakness in the tread of that tire because not everything from the full scale translates to the small scale and vice versa. The Swamper has a weakness in its tread pattern. Its shoulder rolls and it falls away and no matter how far you get away from that Swamper lineage, whether you're a Bogger, whether you're a Hold, whether you're a TSXSL, no matter a Hunk, no matter what you are, that weakness is there. It resides there. And there's another tire out there that is going to do that side hill stuff better. No matter what the insert is, no matter what the rig is, on and on and on and on. So I, like the Scorpio, have to realize, I have to recognize, and I think I have, that that weakness is there. It is intrinsic to the Scorpio. Scorpio is never going to hit the ball as far as the tusk. And the tusk can do it without trying. It doesn't matter what insert, it doesn't matter what rig it's fitted to, it is going to perform better. And there's nothing explicitly about the Scorpio that is overwhelmingly bad. It's just almost there. And end of day, beginning of the day, mid-afternoon just before lunch, honestly, that's kind of the worst place to be. Because while Scorpio can try as he may and try as he might to scratch out a, a tough infield single against the best pitcher in the league. Uh, the Tusk let off with a double, and he's standing on second. Uh, this, this is the thing. This is, this is the, in, to me, this is the entirety of it. And you might be watching this and saying, but the Scorpio is doing just fine. And he is. In a vacuum, the Scorpio is every bit as good as his brethren until we start to compare them directly. I mean, most, uh, I, I mean, in the grand condemnation of manufacturing of toy car tires as a pursuit and profession, the Scorpio is better than a lot of tires. Tires that are more expensive, it just, in a very Reduxian way. Let's do, let's do the flip first. I, I lined up for it too well. Very nice. Very nice. But can you sing the same song? Very nice. Uh, that's, that's quite good. Okay, front. Now, we'll do the, now we do it the other way, which is, whoop. Yeah, see? Most tires have a direction. Do they want forward throttle to self-right or do they want reverse? The Scorpio is definitely one of the reverse variety. He liked, he liked the reverse a lot better. Looking good, looking good. Looking, ooh, well, taking a sip of the potion there. Now the bump. The bump, by virtue of no directionality, very tightly spaced lugs. I can tell you here, don't. <laughs> uh, gremlin rules apply. Do not get these muddy. They're just gonna hold. They're, they're just gonna hold on to it, uh, like Velcro. Like one side of Velcro, and the mud is the other side of Velcro. So my goal here is not to dissuade people from the Scorpio. It is, if anything, to, to make it aware that. For whatever reason, I can't 
fully quanti- it just it has to be the lug. It has to be the amount of lug or the spacing of the lug or in my mind, what I'm thinking is the height of the lug. All of the lugs are nice little crazy different shapes, but they're basically all the same height. And I think that is where the problem hath arisen. And you know what we can do about that? Nothing. <laughs> Literally nothing. Because we end up arriving where we do. Better than some, worse than others. And if we view them in their, in their own snow globe, which is only filled with green, the 1-9 Scorpio kind of, at this point, in their duty cycle, they kind of land at this point of being the weakest of the greens. And again, condemning an industry. It's not like they're abjectly terrible. Green will get you far. And we can't single out the Scorpio for this. Every manufacturer has a tire that just isn't the one. The the, the Scorpio is, ugh, and it pains me to say this because I'm a J Concepts tire guy primarily. Uh, is the Scorpio the J Concepts Hyrax? No, it's better than that. But it kind of is at the same time. It's no grand failings. There's no huge hole. Let's try to dig. That actually did pretty good. We had some pretty substantial forward motion there. I was trying to get the, uh, there we go. What we try to do is we try to dig down. Okay, then we go, and then we see if we can pull ourselves out of it. Yeah, a little side attitude on it, it's nice. And this is the thing. The J Concepts Scorpio is, as I would call many things, and this is, uh, what do they say, faint praise is the most damning? The Scorpio is fine, but I know that there are other tires I can pull off the J Concepts rack and do better. Maybe there's a really grippy, like, sandstone out there. Somebody tell me, are you running Scorpios and they're just, like, they punch above everybody else? There's this negative Nelly inside that tells me that's not a thing. Like, they're doing their very best, but their very best just isn't at the level of the kid that showed up with no experience and is just better at the game. I, I can't hold that against the Scorpio, I guess. I don't know, but I guess I do in actions because the fleet stands around 50 vehicles. And none of them are exclusive. Well, as as of, because of the 14 tire shuffle to do this redux, there are no vehicles in the fleet fitted with Scorpios out of 50. I think that, that might say more than this whole rigmarole. That leaves us just needing to see the wetness and typically uh, green is green is gonna green green be greening so the drop from dry to wet is gonna be like a tenth like they, they we, we sometimes we see a drop off of a little sometimes we see <laughs> rolled it rolled it on trying to back up to avoid the hose spray Uh, Sometimes we just see the same exact score. Uh, But generally on tires that are competent on multiple surfaces, good compounds, like name name compounds, uh, we see that 10th to no drop. And it does not look like these will be any different. So, I would, let me see, yeah. Okay, let me, let me come across here on the slicky, on the slicky portion a little more. Do a little slide here, because we're gonna have to pull that belly over. So I wanna try to reposition. I think we might be in an intractable position, cut back. Now nah, you just, you find your spot and you can pull through it pretty easily. 
So based on that, I would say that it is a no reduction for wet. And the no reduction wet puts the J Concept Scorpio at a 90, I had to, I had to look back again, uh, at a 96.5, which is one tenth of a point below the J Concept's hunk. And I think that is correct. Maybe, no, that's, I feel, I feel like that is absolutely correct. It's very nearly the hunk and it is stronger in some applications. Like it side hills a little better, but it's not as good in other situations. I feel like the, the drive and positionability is a little bit better on the hunk. It's this toss up, you know? I think the hunk is gonna do better in, uh, in like a muddier situation. It's basically a swamper clone. It's just that amount below. It's just off the podium. And that's not, I mean, somewhere out there, there's a rig that is gonna like these better than the hunk, is gonna like these better than the hold, or is gonna like these better than a lot of tires. And I feel like when we're talking about a 96.5, that's not a bad score. Basically anything above 95 is decent. I wanna say that the, the Deepwood slash Louise Champs are right around there. And yeah, yeah, but the Deepwood's way better in mud and wet than these. So you see, this is why variety is not just the spice of life, but it is something that we're actively seeking because if you had four tires, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're, no, let's go back to five. We're gonna loop back around. We're gonna pick five tires, but instead of picking them at random, we're gonna pick five tires that have scored like between 96.6 and say 96.3. Depending on the vehicle we fit them to, depending on the weather on the given day, depending on what obstacles are chosen, Nobody's gonna be the best at everything. Even if we had a long enough tire test spreadsheet to where we had 10 tires that all scored 96.5 or 96.6 to 96.4. Anyway, we get a close enough spaced group. In some instance, the 96.4 is gonna beat that 96.6. That's why we try our very best to get those scores to be representative, but your results are absolutely 100% going to vary. You may indeed find in your locality that the Scorpio beats out the hunk. Maybe, and I hope for it, I hope against hope that maybe it's a thing, that somewhere the Scorpio is better than a Tusk. I don't think it is because I think the Baja Pro XS as a pattern is better than this, unfortunately, because I love the look of this tire. We're gonna keep trying. We're going to find a spot where the Scorpios fit. There's a couple builds going on right now. I'm sure the Scorpios will take a pass at all of them because these are right there with the champs. And we have multiple vehicles fitted with Deep Woods and or Louise champs that are around the same score. I think the champs might even be a little worse. So if we're content with a 196.5, but have found discontent with another 196. 96.5. It just means that we haven't found the right jam to go with the peanut butter. We haven't found the right chocolate to go with the peanut butter. Boy, am I hungry? It keeps coming back around to peanut butter. So the Scorpio does not test poorly. It beats a lot of tires. It's above the halfway mark on the leaderboard. It just ends up getting replaced because somebody does it a little bit better. Right? I'm almost sure, I think these, I want to say these scored about a point higher than the fossils, but I don't think anything would motivate me to put the Scorpios in place on the vehicles that are currently fitted with fossils. I don't think that these would do as well despite scoring higher. That's why we establish a baseline. And it, honestly, it's like a point either way. You could do a point worse or a point better. And a full point on this leaderboard is a lot. So Scorpios, you did pretty much exactly. I, I thought right in that hunk area, and here we are. The hunk has its own weaknesses. The Scorpio has its own weaknesses. Uh, our weaknesses are lack of concision. So 
I will be concise in saying this. Thank you so much for watching. Please do comment below with any questions, comments, or concerns. Tune in for whatever we might happen to have next in between now and then. Please, one and all, do your very best. Have a good one, everybody. Thank you for joining us here on the Day for the Canyon. 96.5 to the J Concepts Scorpio in green compound. Uh, I love the look of them. They're one of my favorite looking J Concepts tires. I just wish, I wish they were a 97, you know, but they're not.